It's easy to say, oh, well, I can tell, like, look at this plate here. It's black, overheat. I can tell it's overheat. But what caused that overheat? That is the key question. Because overheat is happening a lot. Most failures out there are due to overheat. And even with all these protections that all the manufacturers are coming out with, the compressors are still failing. I think pretty, I'll have to ask around again, but I still think it's overheat. And then yes, high compression ratio. That's probably the biggest one, high compression ratio. And it could be for many different things. A lot of it comes back to what we are doing as professionals out there. Are we properly doing the maintenances or are the customers allowing you to do the maintenance? One or the other, you got the right refrigerant charge. Is it condenser fans? Yeah, blades. There could be so many different things. Plug condensers. It could be fan speed controls or VFDs. There's lots of different things that could cause it. But it's even worse in the suction line. You could have a plug TX. You could have a plug suction filter dryer that may not even be in there. It could be low oil. So many of these things could cause overheat. And you want to make sure to dive into what caused the overheat because you can say overheat, but there's, we just said six or seven things could be the issue. Someone could install that unit right into where there's a bunch of walls and you're recirculating that air. So the air gets hotter and hotter and hotter. So all these little different things that we need to understand. And sometimes we we can't always rectify it without a big cost potentially. Because if you're the service technician who come to a customer to help them out, somebody else installed a job in the wrong location, the wrong way, you got to be honest with them to show them and talk to them what needs to be done and why this is happening. So I like that one. Gas changeover retrofit. That's a huge one. Paul, thank you. That is a huge one that most people don't know. Well, this rack's been running with 404 refrigerant for 10 years. It's been doing great. But now we just did a retrofit with 448, 449. This gas runs hotter. Doesn't run as hot as R22, but it runs hotter than 404, 507. But it breaks the peak point where you now may need head cooling fans, demand cooling, refrigerant injection, liquid injection, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter. All these different manufacturers have different terms for them. But this is what you need to understand because, okay, we do a gas retrofit. Okay. And there's a lot to a gas changeover or retrofit. We're not going to dive into that's a whole session itself, but you want to understand this new refrigerant may run hotter and you may need different components on that compressor.